Hi, I'm Mallory. I'm one of the kids pastors here at Cross Timbers Church, and today I'm going to teach you on how to make a sensory bin. So what is a sensory bin? A sensory bin essentially is anything that you can find in your house to put inside of a plastic tub of any size. Think about what is your kid really into right now? My son really loves dinosaurs and sand and rocks, so that's what I've added in all of his sensory bins. But there's no right or wrong way to make a sensory bin. You can put water in it, you can do whatever your kids are into. One of my favorite sensory bins I do with my, my son is, he was, he's been learning, he's in kindergarten and been learning how to read and, and write his name. So I just got a cheap, um, puzzle from the dollar store and dumped it in here with a bunch of little fun knickknacks and he now has to go hunt for his um, his name and how to spell his name in, in different words that were sounding out in his little sight words so that's a really fun one and busy bins or sensory bins they're good for all ages for babies this is really important play for them so research shows that developmentally when you're doing sensory bins for them, this is helping with their language, this is helping with their uh, gross motor skills, their fine motor skills. So it's a really important time in their lives to, to be active and be engaged in these type of activities. So now that you know what sensory bins are, let me show you how to make one real quick. Okay, so here I'm kind of going with a summer theme with a lot of sea creatures because summer's coming up and I know that at some point we'll be going to the beach. I like to do rice. Ooh, and again, you can do whatever kind of act, um, thing you want to do. There's no right or wrong way. And if you want to get really brave, you can even do edible things like jello or pudding with your kids. So I just dumped the rice in here, little dollar store toys, and voila, hide them in here. And now my son's got a fun little activity he can play for the next 30 minutes while I go clean the house. I hope you guys had a great time learning how to do these bins, and I hope you have fun making one with your kids.